This is a long list of cities. Some are European cities, some are US cities. The cities on this list have discounted award tickets by up to 25%, sometimes 50%. Sometimes you can find transatlantic flights as low as 7,500 miles or even lower. This is a list for discounted award tickets for Air France and KLM's loyalty program called Flying Blue. They're called promo rewards. If you time it correctly and find award availability, you can sometimes book economy tickets for as little as 6,000 miles or business class for 44,000 miles or less. In this video, we'll go through what promo rewards are, how to find them, and how to maximize your redemption. My name is Max and I help people like you maximize their airline miles, hotel points, and credit card points. If you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. I'm trying to reach 20 27,000 subscribers and your support will really help me grow my channel and let's get started. First up, earning Flying Blue miles. What is Flying Blue? Flying Blue is a loyalty program for Air France and KLM. They share the same loyalty program. To earn Flying Blue miles, it's super easy because almost all credit card points transfers to Flying Blue. American Express, Chase, City, Capital One, and Built. So you have a ton of options to transfer credit card points to Flying Blue. If you're looking to apply for any cards, my affiliate links are down below and using those links help support my channel. Now to redeeming Flying Blue miles. What are Flying Blue promo rewards? Flying Blue promo rewards allows you to get 20 to 50% off select award travel. Every month, there's a new set of destinations and routes to choose from, which makes it an excellent opportunity to save some miles and points if you wanna to travel to Europe. To redeem promo rewards, there's usually a booking time frame, which is about 30 days. For April, it's from April 1st to April 30th, and the travel time frame is until September 30th. This means that you need to book your flight within the specific booking time frame and travel before the travel time frame ends to enjoy the discount. The awards are typically a mix of short and long haul flights with more economy than business class options. However, occasionally there is long haul business class promo rewards which can save you a ton of miles and points. The URL for the promo rewards stays the same every single month and it'll be linked down in the description and pinned in the comment. You can visit the link every first of the month and see what new destinations or routes are available for the promo rewards. Taking a look at this month's promo rewards, there are short and long haul flights and it never specifies whether they're economy or business class, but you can probably tell from the starting from amounts. The higher prices are likely premium cabin discounts, whereas the lower prices are likely economy. Keep in mind that these awards are subject to availability, so you might not always find what you're looking for if there's no award availability. Sometimes these deals can get pretty low. For example, this month it's 7,500 miles between Montreal and Paris, and this can get even lower, which I'll go over in the maximize section. So stick around for that. But for now, let's run through a test search. So I'm here on airfrance.us. I would like to type in airfrance.us because it takes you to the US version of Air France. If you type in airfrance.com, it'll take you to a splash page that's really annoying that you have to click through. So type in airfrance.us. You can also search on KLM too if you want to, but I just prefer Air France because I'm most familiar with it. It's very similar on KLM. Just pick whichever one you want, but I like to type in airfrance.us and that'll take you to this US version of this page. And then let's go from Washington to um, Amsterdam, for example. And that's one of the promo rewards for this month. And let's leave this departure date blank because that will give us an award counter. Let's just do one passenger for now and let's do economy and hit search flight. And so by leaving that date blank, that gives you this award calendar here. And the promo fares are highlighted in the orange color, which makes it super easy. And we can kind of go month to month to see which dates require the fewest amount of points and which dates are promo rewards. And I'm gonna go to September, for example. And so this is the end of the schedule for promo rewards during this month. And so that's why October, November, and December is more expensive. And so promo rewards is 12,750, whereas 17,000 miles is a typical low for the economy flight. And let's go ahead and click on the 16th, for example. And here on the 16th, the first option is the 12,750 miles. And if you click on that, it confirms that it is a promo rewards by this orange tab up here and it says economy promo. And so you can see the regular economy is 17,000 miles, whereas the promo rewards is 12,750. I want to warn you that flying blue Air France or KLM's award search experience is super buggy. Oftentimes you get an error or an award counter might be inaccurate. You have to do a decent amount of clicking around if you don't find the promo rewards you're looking for on the first try. My recommendation is to search for one-way flights first. If you find the outbound and the inbound flight separately, you can later search for both of them together and put them in the same itinerary. I also recommend using the mobile app sometimes because it allows you to skim through the weeks quickly and is not as buggy as the website. 
Now let's get into maximizing this redemption. Flying Blue promo rewards are typically offered between Europe and the listed destination. For example, if it says Washington is listed, it means that the flights between Europe and Washington are on promo rewards. And you're not limited to flying into only in Paris or Amsterdam, you can continue on to other parts of Europe. This brings up a unique aspect of Flying Blue is that sometimes if you're looking to fly beyond Paris or Amsterdam to other European destinations like Prague, Budapest, Flying Blue won't charge you extra miles for the flight. For instance, a search from Washington to Paris costs 12,750 miles. If I run the same search to Budapest or Prague, it will still cost 12,750 miles. This is not always the case, but it's worth knowing that sometimes you can travel a bit further for the same exact price. Another way to maximize this is that Air France and KLM recently introduced free stopovers for reward flights. If you don't know what stopovers are, stopovers are stops in cities more than 24 hours, whereas layovers are less than 24 hours. This means that if you're flying from Washington connecting to Paris and then on to Budapest, you can extend your stay in Paris for up to 12 months as a stopover. You can fly to Paris, see Paris for a few days, or explore France for a few weeks and then continue on to the same itinerary to Budapest. Unfortunately, there isn't a ton of information about booking stopovers with Flying Blue yet, and the only way to book them is to call this number and call Flying Blue. Even then, some phone agents aren't very well versed in the stopover rules yet or the ability to book stopovers. And so you might call in and get an agent that has no idea what you're talking about and have no idea how to book a stopover. In that case, that's where you might need to hang up and then call again. It's also unknown what tickets or types of routing is allowed for stopovers. So just keep all this in mind, but don't get too excited because you might be disappointed if it doesn't work out. I'll make a separate video on stopovers with Flying Blue when I get a chance to try to book an itinerary with a stopover myself. And finally, a good way to maximize promo rewards is to stack the already discounted award tickets with transfer bonuses. For example, currently Chase is offering a 25% transfer bonus when you transfer Chase points over to Flying Blue. That means for our previous example of Washington that cost 12,750 miles, instead of transferring 12,750 miles Chase points to Flying Blue, you need to transfer 10,200 points. But since Chase only lets you transfer points in 1,000 point increments, you'll need to transfer 11,000 points. It's a small discount from the transfer bonus, but it still saves you some points. Historically, the highest transfer bonus for Flying Blue is 25%. Another way to maximize your Flying Blue miles or credit card points is to check out this playlist up here, which has several videos about how to maximize Flying Blue miles and booking flights with Flying Blue. Remember to comment if you have any questions, hit the like and subscribe button. It helps out my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.